Welcome to the Crash and Collision Investigation Technologies Applied. I'm your speaker today, Eva Macella. I hold a Bachelor in Engineering, ACTAR credit, and I'm Business Development Manager for Public Safety Forensic in EMEA South in Europe. With more than 20 years of experience in accident reconstruction and investigation, now I'm serving as a Business Development Manager for Hexagon Geosystem and the take care of the southern part of the European continent, so France, Spain, and Italy, and Portugal. I'm a former police officer and uh, actor accredited and a full accredited in the criminal and civil Italian court as expert witness. 20 years of crash and collision and traffic accident investigation and crime and scene reconstruction services. I also have uh, skills in uh, forensic mapping uh, bullet trajectory reconstruction and uh, 3D animation for forensic purpose. Excellent ge geosystem public safety. We have four main focuses when we say public safety for excellent geosystem. Crime, crash, fire and security. We also serve other industries, but now, right now our business is focusing to serve us best with our technology, those four indus main industries. Here is just a presentation of our public safety in a video that can resume our applications. Police officers and crash investigators need to safely, quickly and accurately document crash or collision scenes, even under high time pressure to reopen the roads. Our geospatial technologies allow the investigators to digitally capture, visualize in real time, and create a forensic digital twin of crash scenes such as car accidents, mass crashes, train collisions, and more. Our solutions enable public safety professionals to create and share 2D diagrams and comprehensive point clouds for 3D models and animations. With specialized forensic mapping software, investigators can analyze crashes, determine the velocity of the cars, angles of collision, visualize marks made by rolling, braking, locking, drifting or skidding of the involved vehicles, corroborate or disprove witness views, and more. With several fit-for-purpose solutions for many public safety applications, there is an option to fit every workflow and budget improve safety on site and capture in 2D or 3D all details of a crash scene in a matter of minutes. Reopen roads quickly. Create your forensic digital twin with us. Crash and collision investigations seen are generally characterized by the presence of indefinite and predictable number of pieces of evidence, debris, damaged vehicles, victims, and so on. Professional accident investigator and reconstructionist, they need uh, every day, uh, to ch they are challenged every day to understand, to define what's happened. So they need to collect all the evidence in the shortest time and especially in a safety way. I'm going to introduce our toolbox. So the amount of uh, our technology that can be used specifically for accident investigation. Some of our technology we have a lot of technology, but those are one more applicable or are currently used within the police department and uh, private experts. We have the Leica Disto, the Leica BLK3D, Leica GNSS, GS18i, Leica Total Station, Leica Laser Scanner RTC360, Leica Laser Scanner BLK360, Leica BLK2Go, Leica BLK2Fly, and Leica Pegasus Backpack. Also, we have our MAP360 forensic software. Our motto is capture, manager, and deliver. No piece of evidence left behind. Now I'm gonna explain a simple workflow, a very simplified, simplified workflow. From capturing the data to a quick and accurate deliverable. First stage we capture, so we use, in this case, for the example, for the sake of a presentation, our laser scanner and our Cyclone uh, software field 360. Then we will manage our data, so we will put together the registration and we will deliver a format file or a LGS file. This file is, can be processed with MAP360, our forensic software, or with a true view that is not in this presentation. Capture, 
We capture in this case, for the example that we're using, with laser, laser scanner Leica RTC360. RTC360 on the scene is basically our scanner and our software on the field that can be used on the mobile phone or iPad or iPhone Android. It's uh, be helpful to manage and drive the scanner while on the scene. To capture with the scanner, we can understand better, we collect all the evidence to understand what's happened. Our scanner, in this case, is a laser scanner RTC360, captures scans in 3D, including HDR imagery, in less than two minutes, creating a forensical, forensic digital twins. Double scan, automatic removal of moving, moving objects, five time HDR image, and uh, we can measure up to two million points per second. We also have VIS technology that help us to position our scanning so we know where we're moving from a scanning to the other so we can avoid a uh, voiding area or a missing part of our scene. This is just a screenshot showing how you should see the different position where you're moving your scanning. So a VIS technology allows to recognize and understand where the scanner is in each single position and put the links together for the future registration. To capture, we can also preview on our iPad and see what we are doing with our point cloud, or we can add simple, what we call, used to call geotag. So using the facility of the camera of our uh, iPad, we can take picture, we can record audio, all those small details that will be embedded in our final deliverable so we will have the point cloud, the scanner, and all those evidence. Basically, we are collecting extra or additional evidence to put together for the final deliverable. In this case, we, for the sake of presentation, we assume that uh, has been found a, a beer cane that is scrambled under the pedal. High resolution picture can be added, for example, uh, from the forensic lab after you announce the fingerprints. So you can put together in the same folder as I was explained before. So point clouds, geotags, in this case, and announce it uh, a fingerprint picture. Hint, uh, is it possible also to integrate our static capture, so using our static scanner for the high resolution, but we might have the need to, to map the overall scenario. Maybe it can be a chasing, can be an event that is developing on many, many meters around. We need to scan very quickly, but we don't need the same kind of, uh, of details that is needed on a static scanning. In this case, we can take advantage of our blk to go It's the fastest and easy way to scan a large environment while walking through the scene. This is an example that we made a few days ago in Italy on a crash test. On the very end of the picture, there was performed a stationary scanning but all the other environment has been made with a walkthrough of about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, next ex linear extension of about 200 meters, uh, 656 feet. Now we capture our data, we need to manage. We go back to the office, we put all together very seamless in our Cyclone Register 360. So we're gonna register all the different scanning together to have an overall scenario with the accuracy grade of surveying accuracy grade. We can also preview our geotags. Geotags are those pictures that, for example, we took while we were scanning with our iPad. We want to be sure if we got the right one, if we need any one, or if, if we like to integrate what from other sources. For example, the document from the lab or some, some other reports, some witness reports that I want to attach within the point clouds. In the meantime, we can uh, uh, take directly measuring in real time. So while we are just exploring our point cloud, now the quality is not the same that you can see on my screen because that was my recording, but you have a re really clean up uh, scenario. In this case, with HDR, there will be no shades on the picture and we can uh, take precise measurement just moving in a 360 degree uh, geometrically correct image. In this case, I removed the image. This is just a point cloud. It's an example of a situation where we have no light. So assuming just for a, for a case that we have no lights, we can also scan and get all the, our crime scene or crash scene without any problem. 
In this case, uh, we show how to select what is needed for our presentation. We might not need the overall scanning, so we use our limit boxes. We are not hiding uh, the rest, uh, we are not deleting the rest of the point cloud, but we're hiding what is not needed, and we can focus on the details of our case. Another very good tool is automatic blurring. So we can have faces or uh, uh, registration number plate, things that we might uh, like to blur. So we have the auto blur functionality, like in this example, or we can also keep editing after all and adjusting uh, as much as we need the blurring or just unblur everything. In this case, we are just creating what I just explained before, ILGS file. It's just a folder with the point cloud, so the all overall environment in 3D, plus all the information that we use to add to create an evidence report. We can uh, print the report of accuracy. We can add uh, data related to the operator, the case, uh, the logo of our agency. And as you can see, all the previous geotags, all the picture, all the information, they are embedded in one file that can be printed. And let's say virtually we can also have done the most of our daily job to deliver a case to our supervisor or our district attorney or who needs those information at the first glance. Now it's time to deliver. So we collected, we managed all the evidence. It's time to deliver. An easy example is how we can create from uh, the registration software, just we can cut what we call a slice, a horto slice. So we have a top down scaled view of our uh, crash scene. This is the image that is already scaled, can be exported in your favorite software, software or in our uh, uh, Premium Suite, CAD Suite, for instance, Suite, MAP360. So in this case, we have a huge amount of details. We have all what we need. We can take measurement or just go to a 2D drawing of our scene and deliver our job. So we can work on the viewport, adapt to our needs, complete with the scale bar. So let's say we do easily our daily job. So why moving from 3D to 2D? Because sometimes it's just needed or it's still required having a 2D top-down view of the scenario, regardless of the 3D capability. And then we can also go and print uh, an evidence report. In this case, we are managing our point cloud, again in the MAP360 software. We import it. We can uh, start a new case. So we just, uh, uh, for the sake of presentation, it will be a short example of how we can manage our point cloud. Uh, obtaining is a very easy and fast deliverable. In this case, we import the point cloud that we saw before. All those numbers are our geotag, but in this case are really all the evidence that we collected on the way or during our uh, crash scene investigation or uh, when we were just exploring, this, the, uh, measuring the, the crime scene. We can go on a scale of grade for more details. We can also polarize the image going uh, uh, taking out the colors from the scanner, and we are working in the, in the point cloud. In this case, the wheelbase has been measured just to have a, a further review. We can go back to the top-down view and still taking some real-time measurement, so we can proceed to our analysis to understand better if all those evidence are consistent with the case, with the witness, with our conclusion. In this case, we have a top-down view with the functionality of silhouette, and we're assuming we are just a uh, 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 describing uh, with a polyline all the overall shape of the vehicles plus the crash damage that we can be we can use for a further investigation like crash analysis in this case if we just hide for a while the point cloud uh, we are left with a with a 2d dxf shape of our vehicle so that can be done for the other vehicle to understand the angle of impact how they arrive to the crash the, Dell investigation with uh, modern tools. Another good uh, feature is that uh, from uh, the overall uh, scenario, we can go uh, with a click to print the evidence uh, report. So all those pictures, the voice note, the picture note, the audio note, that will be embedded together in a PDF. In this PDF, you can all those uh, attachments are, are hyperlinked, hyperlinked, so you can click on it. You can recall and you can open uh, each file in your favorite software. For instance, if you want to preview 
the forensic image or the image of this beer can, you can just click on it and try to enhance the picture to understand more detail, to have a better view, to analyze all, uh, all is needed for your investigation. This is just an example. And that everything comes attached in our PDF. So you have a real folder with all the information, with a 2D drawing in scale, or not in scale if it's needed, plus all the attachment that they're making our evidence report. In this case, I was just playing again with a different uh, polarization of the picture to have a better, a better view on it. But as I said before, you can uh, keep attaching a forensic lab picture, enhance the fingerprint picture like the one that we saw before, and uh, delivering to your, supervis your supervisor, supervisor, your client, whatever is needed for a thorough investigation of your case. So we're treating the crash like a crime scene because more or less the technique uh, applied and technology can be the same. Those are other evidence that we assume for the case, some smearing uh, uh, trace on the hood of the car, the victim, and also we run a few minutes uh, drone view, aerial view, just to complete or to make our presentation nicer. So we, we flow the drone and now we attach the MP4 video at the same folder from the LGS file. So evidence, notes, and everything is needed for, uh, for a complete investigation. So it's, here is the conclusion of my presentation. I will be happy to hear more about you and uh, help to answer your question. So we capture, we manage, we deliver, and we have no piece of evidence left behind. Thank you for your time, and I'm here to to help you anytime. Thank you.